everyone, it's Liza. Welcome to my channel, Show Me Beautiful. Today I want to talk about how to have glowing skin after 50. Uh, with the change of seasons, ladies, we kind of need to step up our skincare. Uh, and also I've noticed this time of year, I have a little more time uh, to really get a good skincare regime. So here we go with how to have beautiful glowing skin. The first one is exfoliation. Uh, dullness is caused by dead skin buildup. Um, at our age, ladies, our skin uh, regenerates about every 12 weeks. Um, so that's a lot of dead skin cells. So there's two different ways to exfoliate. One are the physical ways with, you know, something by Clarisonic um, that can buff off. And then these magic little tools here, ladies, that get our peach fuzz off. And then I'll talk about dermaplating later. But this really helps me get that dry skin off. The second way to exfoliate are with chemical products, with glycolic or lact lactic acids. Um, I do love this Drunk Elephant. This is uh, TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Um, and I'm a little more careful with those because um, they can be a little uh, irritating to my skin. The second one are retinoids or retinol or vitamin A. This encourages skin cells to speed up and faster... I'm having a hard time today. Faster cells repair, which lead to more collagen. So we can buy plenty over-the-counter serums and lotions. And we can also go to our dermatologist who can uh, prescribe prescription strength retinol products. Um, and sadly, I can't really use those because my skin is so sensitive. Um, this third one is vitamin C. This is a big, uh, big, huge new one. This one brightens dark spots and helps the pigment issues. And there are several products, ladies, that talk about vitamin C. This is one of those products where I think you need to step up and put some money in. Um, you know I love my SkinCeuticals. Uh, I've been really a fan of this for almost a couple of years, actually. And then I do like my Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum, Serum Du Jour. Fourth one is sunscreen. Okay, yada, yada. Everybody knows to use it. But ladies, even in the fall and the winter, we need to use it. Um, this product by Supergoop, uh, thanks Gwyneth, um, it's called the Unseen Sunscreen. So don't use anything unless it has an SPF over 30 at least. But this product really is nice. It, it just feels like a very light lotion. And you see how easily it blends in? You know I always love this product because I'm really familiar. I've used it for, you know, five to ten years. And it gives me that SPF of 40 and a little tint and color. So when I'm in a hurry, you know I run with this. Collagen. Collagen is a buzzword, ladies. And I've really had to research it because I really didn't understand it. So it is a protein, so it plays a role in the perceived youthfulness of skin. It is a main building block of skin, and it's also in bones, ligaments, and tissues. It comes from food and supplements. So the best foods to eat this and get it more naturally are eggs, fish, seafood, beans, and dairy. They supply your body with a wide range of amino acids needed to make collagen. You can also find it in bone broth, yum, and gelatin. I really don't recommend those supplements. They really don't know what's in there. I kind of suggest to you all just to eat the right foods. Six is moisturize. We know this, we know this, but do buy some products and look for the keywords, hyaluronic acid for the daytime and things with peptides for the night. Um, I kind of like Drunk Elephant. It's a splurge. Uh, this is La La Retro Whipped Cream Creme Fouillette. Rescue and Recover. Well, let's get going. The next one are highlighters. And this is such a fun thing to do. This really gives you that kind of glowing look with your makeup. 
Um, there's all different kinds. This is one is super easy. I've talked about it in one of my videos. This one is called High Beam. And this one is by Milk. Um, this one is by Milk. So when you do use these, use them very sparingly. And I tend to put them above my eyebrow because again, I want that lift. And I'll put it on the top of my cheekbones and be sure to really blend it in. And then I'll put it right here. It just gives that glowing look without being kind of in your face and um, looking, you know, looking ridiculous. Next one is cleanse. So dirty skin, ladies, leads to breakouts, dullness, and even eyelash breakage. Uh, I talked about this in my very first video way back when. And we really need to clean our skin twice a day. You know I love my CeraVe. There's also uh, Cetaphil makes a great one. And you know these claws, ladies. The next one is uh, a humidifier. Now, I don't happen to use it, but if you want to fool with a humidifier and clean it out all the time, go for it. We all know that excess alcohol leads to dehydration. 11, a low sodium diet. Uh, it helps our eyelids look not so puffy. You know it, ladies, when you've eaten the chips, uh, you know, or the peanuts, um, the next day you're going to pay for it because it's all in your puffy eyelids. And number 12 is water, 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 ladies. You can't really drink enough of it. However, water, water, water means potty, potty, potty. Um, so it's really a catch-22 but I do think water, you know, if you can try to drink more of that and less coffee and less soda, I think our skin will appreciate it. And 13, we know not to smoke. Number 14 is we want to try to eat correctly. We want the bright colored fruits and vegetables. We want the protein rich foods, the eggs, the fish, the beans, the dairy, the nuts, the nuts, I'm nutty, the legumes, the beef liver, Yum! And cod liver oil. Those are foods, ladies, that will help us from the inside out. Um, and we all know that excess sugar and processed foods are no good. So we don't need to, I don't need to bore you with all that. And the big one is sleep. Now, last night, I didn't get a whole lot. So when we sleep less, it causes this chemical called cortisol to really... Um, rush through our system and that leads to the breakdown of collagen and again we're trying to build it up and here are some other tips put on a sleeping mask with an with anti-aging properties and I do love this one this is the watermelon glow mask it's fabulous so try to moisturize at night the second one is sleeping on your back as you can imagine, sleeping on our sides is going to cause wrinkles. So these are things to try. I don't say that it's going to be perfect, but we got to try. The next one is a silk pillowcase. It minimizes inflammation and it's less abrasive. The next one is putting your hair up. Who, who knew? So hair is dirty from the daily grime and from all of our hair products. And it causes our skin to irritate and get dirty. I hope you've enjoyed today's talk about how to have glowing skin. If you like my video, please follow me on my channel, Show Me Beautiful.